Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to send automated WhatsApp message to Magic Bricks leads. So here, let's say that whenever I receive a new lead through Magic Bricks, then I want to send that lead an automated WhatsApp message. So to do this, I will have to build an integration between these two applications for which I will be using Pabli Connect, where my trigger application will be Magic Bricks and my action application will be WhatsApp. So here to send the WhatsApp message, I'm using Vati. You can use any other application as well. So to learn how I set up the integration between these two, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will learn how to send automated WhatsApp message to Magic Bricks leads. So here my objective is that whenever I receive a lead through Magic Bricks, which is a platform for property buyers and sellers to locate properties of interest in India, then I want to send an automated WhatsApp message to that lead. Now to do this, I will have to integrate these two applications and the same thing can be done by using Pabli Connect. So here I will sign into my Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So here as an existing user, I will simply sign in. So this here is the all applications page by Pabli. Here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. This here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. And now in this dialog box appearing, I will give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as send automated WhatsApp message to magic bricks leads. So here on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders that I have created. So here I want to save this workflow in the folder named as magic bricks. So I'm simply going to click on create. Now, as I did that, I've arrived on a very important window, which consists of trigger and action. So basically trigger and action are the building blocks of any integration and automation. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Basically action is an automated response of your trigger application. And in a workflow, you can only have one trigger, but multiple actions. So moving to my use case, that is to send automated WhatsApp message to magic bricks leads. So here in my trigger window, as I want to send a WhatsApp message to my magic bricks leads. So here I'm going to search for magic bricks as the trigger application. So magic bricks is a full stack service provider for all real estate needs. And here it is magic bricks. So after selecting my trigger application, I will select the trigger event as new lead. That means it will start working when the new lead will be captured. So here I'm going to select it. Once I've done that, here you can see that a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully. So now to automate lead capture, we have to copy the above webhook URL and configure it in the Magic Bricks account that you have. So you have to reach out to your account manager from Magic Bricks. Now why you have to do this? Because Magic Bricks portal doesn't have the provision to add the webhook URL on the user interface of their application. So that is why you are supposed to reach your account manager from Magic Bricks. So you need to send this webhook URL to your Magic Bricks point of contact or the backend team. Once you have done that, then you are supposed to capture the webhook response. So I will follow the same process and get the webhook response. So here I'm going to copy the webhook URL. And here I've received the response. Here you can see the mobile number, last name, first name, email, location and the area. So that means the details of the lead is successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So the first objective of this automation is set up. That means now whenever I will receive a new lead through Magic Bricks, then the lead details will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. This trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So moving further with my use case, that is to send automated WhatsApp message to Magic Bricks leads. So here in my action window to send a WhatsApp message, I'm going to use Vati. So Vati is a WhatsApp business API. So here I'm going to select Vati. And now here in the action event, that will be to send template message. It will send an approved template WhatsApp message. So here I'm selecting it as the action event. Once I've done this, now I need to establish a connection between Vati and Pabli Connect. So here I'm simply going to click on connect. And here to add a new connection, 
I need to mention the API endpoint and the access token. So read the instruction given below carefully because this will help you to get the API endpoint and the access token. So now I will take you to my Vati account. Over here, I will go to API docs. And here is the access token and the endpoint URL. So I will copy the access token. Now I will go to public connect and here I'm going to paste the access token. Once this is done, again, I will go back to Vati and copy the API endpoint. And here in public connect, I'm going to paste the same. So here now I will click on save. So now moving to these fields here, I need to mention the WhatsApp number. So here to mention the WhatsApp number, I'm going to use a method that is known as mapping. So basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step. So here as I've received the response from magic bricks, here I'm going to map the mobile number. So read this instruction given below carefully. Enter a valid WhatsApp number with country code without plus sign. Here is the example. So this mobile number which I have mapped exactly follows the same format. So I will make no changes in this. So moving to the template. So here I need to select a template which is to be sent to the Magic Bricks leads. So here in Vati, I will take you to templates. And here you can see that I have created a template by the name of new Magic Bricks leads. Here is the broadcast title as Magic Bricks and the language is English and the category is marketing. So here you can see that the body goes as Dear, your query has been received. Our relationship manager will get back to you within 24 hours. Please feel free to connect us at tutes at the rate magicbricks.com regards marketing team. So here I've not added any footer or buttons and here in curly braces, I want to mention the name. So here in sample content, I've mentioned the name as demo user. And here in the preview message, you can see that after dear, the name is appearing. So now this here is the template which I want to send it to the leads. So here in Pably Connect, I'm going to select new Magic Bricks leads as the template. So now moving to broadcast name here, I need to provide a broadcast name. So here in Vati, I've given the broadcast title as Magic Bricks. So here I'm going to give them broadcast name as Magic Bricks. So here I'm typing it and it is done. Now moving to the custom parameters. So over here, I need to provide the value which I want to mention in the custom parameter. So as I want to mention the name of the lead, so I will follow the same format. So here I'm going to copy the format and I will paste it over here. So now over here in name, as I want to mention the name, so here I'm going to write name and moving to the value. So the value for the name was demo user. So here I'm going to map the first name and now I will map the last name. So here I've mapped the first name and last name. So this custom parameter completely follows the format that is given below. So here this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data, so that data can be taken over here in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So now here, as I've mapped the information in these fields and mentioned the details. So here I'm going to click on save and send test request to see the response. Here you can see that I've received a response. Here is the phone number. Here is the template name and here is the parameter. Here is the value that is the name of the lead. Moving down here is the contact ID generated along with some other details. So this here is the WhatsApp message that has been sent. So here you can see that this is the broadcast title. And along with that, this is the body text of the message. It goes as dear demo user, your query has been received. Our relationship manager will get back to you within 24 hours. Please feel free to connect with us at tutes at the rate magicbricks.com regards marketing team. So this shows that the message has been successfully sent to the lead. So this integration and automation was a successful one. Now, whenever a new lead will be received through Magic Bricks, then automatically a WhatsApp message will be sent to that lead through Wati. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pably Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pably, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pably.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. 
So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.